Hello. My name is Tiina Nieminen, and I work for Vario. Vario is creating the world's best virtual reality and mixed reality products. I, myself, am a product maker. I've done both hardware and software products in B2B and B2C, in Fortune 500 companies, but it also in several small startups. And you know what? In my opinion, product making is not that different across industries or companies. It always requires vision, the bold idea, what is it that we're doing, and who we're doing our, doing our products for. Clarity to guide the team, passion, and of course, a whole lot of work. And hopefully, you also get to have loads of fun while doing it. It all starts with the vision, the bold, ambitious idea why we are doing our products and who we are doing our products for. Vision should be based on market and customer insights. And there are different ways you can acquire that information. Of course, you can go and spend thousands of dollars to market research reports. But personally, I really find those useful. I see them quite often as just reflections of big companies' R&D efforts and how they see the future unfolding. Why not just go out there and go and interview and observe your customers? That way, you can get both qualitative and quantitative data. What are their pain points? What are their unmet needs? Or are you actually you know, creating some new needs? And based on those insights, you can then create your value proposition and unique selling points. One example how we in Barrio were able to create our product vision was based on a customer insight. We went uh, out and asked from our customers in industries such as automotive and industrial design or simulation and training. And they, what they really said to us was that they wanted to use virtual reality, VR, in their uh, you know, product making processes. They wanted to streamline their processes. They wanted to cut down product development costs or just train more people in a shorter period of time. But they were not able to do that with the current VR products because the current VR products were not able to provide them with the resolution that they needed, the details that they needed to see, for instance, switches and dials and knobs in an airplane cockpit. So that insight then led to the Vario uh, product vision of human eye resolution products. Uh, then on the practical note, how I myself, I gather competitive, uh, competitor insights. Uh, of course, I regularly use competitor products, but more often also, like daily basis, I read technology blogs, I read discussion forums. Although that they are quite entertaining at times, but actually I find the discussion forums usually being the best source of competitive information. And I like to be paranoid about competition. So keeping those ang you know, antennas towards the external world. So gathering insights is not a one-off exercise that you do just at the very beginning, but it's actually a continuous task that you need to continue doing day by day in this fast-moving world. So once you have that bold vision in place, that's the first step. But vision does not equal clarity. Creating clarity is about synthesizing the complex. It is about being able to tell the team, what is it that we are doing? What is it that we are not doing? What are we building? What is that we're not building? What are we doing now? What are we doing later? And that clarity is super important for the team so that they can you know, move forward in, in their everyday tasks. Um, one um, additional thing I think you know, should be aware of when creating clarity is that successful products are created by the ability to do trade-offs. So be aware of that feature creep. It's so easy to include all of those features that the product team is asking or your customers are asking just to be on the safe side. But as Jack Dorsey from Twitter says, make every detail perfect and limit the number of details to perfect. 
One thing I also do to improve the clarity within the product development team is that I prioritize product drivers. So drivers can be in the simplest form things like time to market. Does this product need to ship at a certain date? Cost, what is the amount of, you know, amount of money and people I can use for this project? Or features, the number of features and the priority of those features and the different metrics for those features. Again, for the development team, having clear priorities on the product drivers, super crucial, so that they feel empowered to do their daily product uh, decisions. And then you have the clarity. But then there's this execution phase. And I like to myself, I'm a firm believer of failing fast in order to succeed sooner. So build something fast and prototype, prototype, prototype. But not just do prototype before the fun of it. No matter whether you're building a mock-up of proof of concept or minimum viable product, always ask yourself, what is it that we want to learn from this iteration round? Is it that we want to de-risk some of our key technologies? Or is it that we're doing the MVP together with our customers and getting rid of some of the noise and getting clear signals what is it that we actually should be doing? And execution will be chaotic. It will be chaotic for sure. But, and usually getting a product ready to ship takes more time than you initially in est estimated. It's this kind of tedious task of balancing between perfection and time to market. I've yet to meet a product person that would have been totally happy with the end product. And this doesn't mean that the end would, have, would be crappy. It just means that initially we wanted to go here, and eventually we ended up here. So to me, it says that the vision was bold enough, and then along the way, we were capable of doing those tough trade-off decisions. And I actually think that we should feel mildly embarrassed by our creations. Not humiliated, but mildly embarrassed. So, as a summary, have a vision that's ambitious, adds value to the customers, but then create clarity uh, by synthesizing the complex so that the team is clear on where we are going uh, and what, what are the different priorities. And enjoy the execution, the chaos that comes with it. And once you have the vision and the clarity you know, set up and in place, everything comes so much easier, and you're able to steer the ship into the right direction. So these were the few key, key kind of insights I wanted to share with you today. Uh, Vario is looking for uh, additional super product making people. So if you're interested, come and find me, and we'll talk more. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.